Ritter Tushingham stars tomorrow night at 6.30. Another part of the palace, the royal bathroom. The brownies from the city of Orange are joined by antique dolls in the audience who have looked for many years on the enchanted castle. Its owner is looking for a better home for it, someone who will keep it active and open to children, keep its card tables and billiard equipment dusted in the royal den or game room. An evil spell descended on the castle since the San Fernando quake. It suffered light damage, but the building that held it was nearly demolished, forcing a move to its home here in a back room in Brea. The courtyard fountain makes a royal splash, and the castle looks powerful and nobly proportioned. Yet it has been humiliated, attacked, invaded, and damaged by enemies as big as elephants in its world, mice. Ray Duncan, KNBC News. Because of tonight's live coverage of the NCAA championship basketball game between UCLA and Memphis State, with our colleague Tommy Hawkins calling part of it, tonight's news service ends one hour early. We'll be back with a news service tomorrow evening at 5 o'clock. So coming up next from St. Louis, UCLA's Bruins try to complete another perfect season. Good luck. Good night. buying a new 1973 car, you're in luck. 73s have tougher bumpers, so like we promised, all states giving you a break on auto insurance. Every 73 sold in this country gets a 10, 15, or 20% discount on all state collision insurance. The better the bumper, the better the discount. Come see us and ask about our other auto discounts too. We're very easy to find. 50 airline pilots, professionals, acutely sensitive to vibration, noise, and motion. Compare this all-new 73 Mercury Marquis to a $31,000 European town car. In an official test, 44 of the 50 judged Mercury more comfortable to drive. I'm a very critical individual. I consider the Mercury better in every category. It's just a more comfortable car to drive. I think far and away, the Mercury is the better car. Mercury Marquis, build better to ride better. At the sign of the cat. I fly much too much to choose an airline because of its fancy meals or plush interiors. And I don't choose an airline on price because the fares are the same. When I fly, I try to fly Pan Am. You see, I'm not crazy about flying, but Pan Am is the world's most experienced airline. I don't know what that means to you, but I do know what it means to me. KNBC, Los Angeles. The programs normally seen at this time will not be presented in order to bring you the following NBC Sports Special. One of the greatest jumpers in college basketball this year. He has a great turnaround jump shot and great rebounding ability. UCLA will be hard pressed to keep him away from that basket and look at him on his turnaround jumper. He's sky high. Larry Finch has been the leading scorer for Memphis State all year. If he can hit outside tonight, it's really going to help the Tigers. He only needs 15 points tonight to break the all-time Memphis State scoring record. Great outside shooter, one of the great three-wheelers in basketball. Somewhat wild, but very exciting and always effective. He won't charge that offense. He's a threat at all times, especially from outside. All right. Stars of Memphis State, now for UCLA, one of their three seniors, probably the strongest physical player on the UCLA team, Larry Hollyfield. Larry Hollyfield averages about 11 points a game. He is aggressive, and he was instrumental in the late stages of the game against Indiana in the semifinals, having a couple of skills and a couple of real big baskets. This fellow's so smooth, you hardly know him on the court. They call him Silky, Keith Wilkes. 
a junior forward. Keith didn't have a very good game against Indiana in the semifinals, but he's capable of getting in there and doing the job. He's the second leading scorer on the team. Here's that sixth man that could come off the bench and ignite a team. Tommy Curtis has been doing it in tournament competition. He got 22 points Saturday night to lead UCLA over Indiana, and he was a difference, as Coach John Walton said. John Wooden, rather. He is fantastic. Well, it's almost Coach Walton, Bill Walton out there, Tom. He's the player of the year in college basketball. Every time you take a shot, you're worrying, where is he? He's everywhere. As you see him here on the fast break, he's capable of getting the rebound, feeling that lane, and there he is laying it up over the players. He has excellent mobility for a man 6'11". And his rebounding is fantastic. He's always a foot above the crowd, as you can see him. He'll have to be blocked out of there. On defense, if you're looking for him, he'll be on top of you and usually swatting that ball away from the basket. All right, those are some of the stars you're going to be watching tonight. Of course, there'll be other players in the game. Who knows, one of the sixth, seventh, or eighth players could be the outstanding star of the game tonight. Now in a moment, more National Collegiate Basketball Tournament free activity in the game between UCLA and Memphis State. This is Emerson Fittipaldi, world champion Grand Prix driver. Drive with him on this practice run in his Texaco Fuel JPS Lotus. I enjoy driving racing cars. The sensation is incredible. Out on the circuit by yourself, the feeling I have is to be like to be on the moon. The sensation, you know of speed. It's just unbelievable. Texaco furnishes the fuels and lubricants for Emerson Fittipaldi's JPS Lotus in every Grand Prix event. The same technical skill that goes into making these products goes into the Texaco gasolines and Haviland motor oil available to you. Trust Texaco. Emerson Fittipaldi does. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let's meet the starting lineups for tonight's national title game. First, the defending National Collegiate Basketball Champions, UCLA. Number 52, at forward, six feet six, a junior from Santa Barbara, California, Keith Wilkes. Number 54, at forward, six feet five, a senior from Denver, Colorado, Larry Farmer. Number 32 at center, 6 feet 11, a junior from Mesa, California, Bill Walton. Number 53 at guard, 6 feet 4, a senior from Compton, California, Larry Hollyfield. Number 43 at guard, 6 feet 4, a junior from Cedar, California, Greg Lee. And the coach of UCLA, John Wooden. the starting lineups for the Missouri Valley Champions, Memphis State. Number 20, forward, 6 feet 7, a junior, last down to Kentucky, Billy Buker. Number 35, at forward, 6 9, a junior, Birmingham, Alabama, Larry Kenyon. Number 33 at center, 6'8", a senior, Memphis, Tennessee, Ronnie Robinson. Number 10 at guard, 5'10", a junior, for sales, Missouri, Bill Lowry. Number 21, a guard, 6'2", a senior, Memphis, Tennessee, Larry Smith. The start of tonight's National Collegiate Basketball Championship Final between Memphis State and UCLA just a moment away. And we'll be back for the opening tip-off. 
Introducing the 40,000 mile radial tire with five guards to help protect you five ways. The new Goodyear Custom Steel Guard Radio helps guard against rough ride, penetration under the tread, against wet skids, loss of road contact on curves, and against sluggish handling. Drive the new Goodyear Steel Guard Radio and get the five guard feeling of confidence only from Goodyear. An accident is a lonely feeling, but when your car is insured by State Farm, there are more than 11,000 full-time State Farm agents, plus the resources of the world's largest car insurer on your side. It doesn't take away the shock of an accident, but it's nice to know you're not out there all alone. And like a good neighbor, Nineteen thousand jammed in here. The game has been sold out for months. Of the four participating schools, each received only a thousand tickets. On your left, James Howell of the Atlantic Coast Conference and Joe Doshin of the Missouri Valley Conference on your right of the game official. Bill Walton will jump against Larry Kenyon. UCLA in the blue or dark jerseys, Memphis State of White, the game for the national title. UCLA has a dip. Keith Wilkes. Greg Lee, the point man. Hollyfield, the Wilkes. Walton screening for it. Hollyfield pumps out of the corner. He hits it. Two to nothing, UCLA. And they say if Hollyfield hits his first shot, he's due for it good night. The famous all-court press on by UCLA. Finch beats it with a dribble. Finch fires. On the board, it's out of bounds. Foul is called on Ronnie Robinson. First team foul of the game, of course. Greg Lee and Holly Field will bring it down. Walton's in on a low pivot, and Keith Wilkes is in there with him, a double low post. On the wing, Farmer. Turn around. Wilkes makes it four to nothing. And you'll notice that Memphis State is not double team teaming Walton. They're just putting Keenan on him. We'll see if it works. That foul. By Larry Hollyfield. Imagine UCLA was ripped by their coach in the second half against Indiana when they were ahead 20 points and almost let Indiana catch him. Johnny Wooden was very unhappy. And he hasn't fired up here. Out in front, Bill Lowry. Shot by Kenyon. Good. Four to two. Larry Kenyon gets the first one for Memphis State. Greg Lee brings it down for UCLA. Again, taking a low double post. Walton and Wilkes inside. Greg Lee out in front. Farmer to Walton. Walton to Wilkes. Jump shot. Foul call on Billy Buker. Second team foul on Memphis State. Common foul, not in the act of shooting. UCLA ball out of bounds. Lead a walk. Billy Buford fouls his error. Which is it? Maybe Kenyon. It's Kenyon, Larry Kenyon. Larry Kenyon. But they're calling them awful close early in the game. They don't want it to get too physical. Great pass in by Hollyfield to Walton, 6-2, UCLA, Buford to Lowry. No stall tonight or a deep freeze by Memphis State. They're going right after him. Keenan hit it, 6-4. That's his shot, Larry Keenan. A high jumper, he has a beautiful touch on the ball. 6-4, UCLA. Walton spinning. Look at that quickness of Bill Walton. 8-4. 6-11, it just seemed power spin off that pivot. Very agile big man, Larry, into the fourth court for Memphis State. Jump shot by Keenan Walton, partially blocked at that time. Robinson retrieves. Robinson jump shoots. Keenan's up. He gets an eighth percent. Larry Keenan now has three baskets off Walton. And that is why Memphis State 
Clayton hopes to give UCLA all they can handle. That big front line. Greg Lee, Larry Hollyfield. Oh, what a roar. Here is Forsyth. Fouls on Bill Walton for butting out of there. He was throwing his rump into his defender. Second team foul on UCLA. Remember, after six common fouls, he has a bonus free throw situation. They're trying to trap Finch. Larry gets it across without any problems. Eight to six, UCLA. Nearly three minutes gone. Reflected out by Greg Lee. Coach Wooden with his top assistant. And there's Gene Bartow in the light suit and the glasses. Just voted the coach of the year in the university division by the National Association of Basketball Coaches. Larry Finch got up good. Game tied, eight off. He had to arch that shot high in the air. He knew Bill Walton would be trying to intimidate him. Game is tied. He broke outside. Yoke follows his own shot. Ball away jumper. And the tip in. No good. No good. I think Walton had his hand up on the rim. Previous shot. There's a replay on that missed shot. You can see the ball is on the rim. So is Walton's hand. That's offensive goaltending right there. Eight to eight, tied up. Stay. Hubert, Keenan, jumper. What goes in? Keenan, 10-8, Pemphis State. Larry Keenan, hot with his jump shot. Walton has, has blocked one, but he can't get to him otherwise. The way Keenan can jump, he almost matches Walton. Physical side. Hollyfield hits in the score side. 10 to 10. Four minutes gone. A tie ball game for the national championship. Gets it through the top. Very fine ball handler, Larry Fish. He's the playmaker of the team. Tough shot. He hits it. 12 to 10. Memphis State. Memphis State deliberated about playing a stall game or a deliberate game and said no. We're going to come out and play it our way. We'll take our chances and go right with them. He will. Robinson right on him. Lowry trying to take it away. Bill Walton off the pivot now. Wilk. Yes. Walton out of bounds. Use the L.A. ball. Memphis State in a very tough, aggressive man-to-man. -to -man. UCLA found a very tough time handling that ball, dribbling around in that midcourt area. I think UCLA call time as they do is a rarity for John Wood. We'll call, uh, talk to you about that. Right now with a timeout, the score, Memphis State 12, UCLA 10. For most people, the name Buick carries certain traditional connotations. Things like quality, prestige, and expensive to buy. But the truth is, if a person has $4,400 to spend, he can afford a full-size Buick LeSabre like this one. Okay, who's got the Buick? Buick LeSabre. Its price is attracting some pretty untypical Buick owners. Wouldn't you really rather have a Buick? What do you want to know about money? How does compound interest work? Suppose you deposit $50 in a savings and loan and add $50 every month for 15 years. At current interest rates, you could then withdraw $50 a month every month for the rest of your life, your children's lives, your grandchildren's, forever and ever, and never touch the money you deposited. Your savings and loan wants you to know how money works. Time out of the game. He preaches to his team about conditioning. Psychologically, he doesn't think it's good at all the first time out, but he just has. He has something important to say to his team. And Bill Walton ties the game at 12 all. Eight points for Bill Walton, eight points for Larry Keaton. <laughs> Bill Walton takes the rebound. Fouls on Ronnie Robinson. 
fourth team foul on Memphis State. Here's the replay on this. He didn't plan to get his shot away. Walton had him well covered that time. And inside, Robinson pushed off with his left elbow. Committed the foul. Game is tied, 12 to 12. This was a very aggressive man to man. What a pass by Bill Walton. As soon as that ball hit his hands, they double teamed him and he fed off. Beautiful feet off by Walton. Lowry defense. Foul is called on Greg Lee. Third team foul on UCLA. First foul on Lee. Memphis State ball under their own bucket. 14-12 UCLA. 14 and a half left to play in the first half. That was a gamble lob in. Pitch shot blocked by Hollyfield. Spinning with Robinson and ties it at 14-all. Ronnie Robinson. He shoots 53% from the field, so they can't let him free out there. Trying to spread him out. Walton inside. Ball taken away by Buford. Larry Fitz brings it down. UCLA's dropped back now. Not using the all-court press. Fitz comes outside. He hurried that shot. He's not coming down and getting a good shot. Fitz has it. But he's out of bounds. Greg Lee in the fourth ball. That foul's on Larry Keenan. Fifth team foul on Memphis State. He was holding Bill Walton. That's the first foul on Keenan. Larry Hollifield will throw it in. Keenan feels that he can jump with the best of them and that he can handle Walton one-on-one. Three-second violation called on UCLA. Memphis State ball. They go back to their zone all-court press. They'll try and put two men on one and trap him and deflect the pass and steal. There it is, you see. They did it. They forced Larry Finch into an error. Greg Lee. Spinning. Oh, up and good. The foul's on Larry Keenan. Here's Walton, and you see this great offensive move by a man 6'11", good driving ability, strong into the basket, and when he goes up... And rebound, UCLA has five, Memphis State three. Three errors charged to UCLA, one to Memphis State, and Greg Lee shoots the free throw. That's the second part of that, uh, Walton being fouled in the act of shooting that a technical. Greg Lee made a 17-14. He really shot the technical. Kikir is back in the game now, so we'll see if he can handle well. No one else has been able to. Larry Keaton has come back in number 35. Dave Myers. Tommy Curtis outside. That fouls on Bill Walton. Two fouls on Walton. And the Memphis State fans go well. They like anything to go against him. They can't believe his performance, and many of the other people can't either. But Kurt, I've watched this young man all year, his entire career, and I can say, coming down the pike, you have never seen a better player. You think he's the best big man you've ever seen, don't you? At this point in college basketball, he's the big, best big man ever to play the game. Quite a statement when you played against Chamberlain, Dean Jabbar. Bill Russell has Keenan rebounding. Goaltending call on Bill Walton. Bill Walton for goaltending. Watch how high he gets up there. There's Keenan way up, and you can see the great jumping ability of Bill Walton. He's at least a foot and a half above that basket, but he did catch the ball on his down the bar. You block the shot on his way up, it's all right. Not on the way down. Dave Myers got blocked by Keenan. Out of bounds with it. UCLA's ball out. Larry Keenan makes a big difference to this team when he's in there. 
He definitely does. He can control the middle in there, too, but he's got to work extra hard to go up with Walton every time. Keenan has scored 10 points. 29-24, UCLA. Walton. The tip is good by Dave Myers. Dave Myers is going to be an outstanding player next year at UCLA. Six feet seven, a sophomore. Just starting to come along. 31-24, UCLA. Keenan's turnaround jumper. On the board is Keith Wilkes. Tommy Curtis. That's up. He's a point man. No double close. Two wings and Hollyfield in the wall. Got it. 33 24. Bill Walton has 18 points in the first half. Larry Fish gets it across. Here we go. Way up there is Davey Myers, number 34. He took a couple of rabbit steps underneath there before putting it up. He was called for walking. Got into a zone inside. They've got to do something inside the stop wall. Right back out to Curtis. Larry Fish takes it down. Shoots his jumper and hits it. 33-30. Davy Myers gunning. Walton tips it in. 35-30 UCLA. Bill Walton, 20 points. Johnny Wood. Tommy Curtis is out. Greg Lee's come back in. Yeah. Vince, since this free throw, he will become Memphis State's all-time leading scorer. All right, keep it up for the rebound. Out to Finch. Finch says, come on, let's set something up. Bill Cook trying to get a screen for him up. Fire taps it over to Greg Lee, UCLA ball. Four minutes, 40 seconds to go in the half. UCLA ahead by five points. Whoa. That's what Greg Lee could do, that lob pass in, hangs it up for Walton to stuff. 37-30, 22 points for Bill Walton. Bench beating Buford, Whoa. That's the third on him. Three big ones on Walton. And Buford went in there. He said, I'm going to challenge the big fella. And you have to do that. Let's take a look at this one. There's Finch going in for the basket, dribbling across. Goes up. Finds Buford. Buford in the corner. He goes up. Walton pins it. But at the same time, catches Buford and knocks him down. So Walton has the three big ones. And it looks like we're going to have a substitution. Here's Buford's free throw. One more shot for him. Sven Nader will come in and replace Bill Walton. Walton has three fouls. 4-14 to play and a half. 37-31. UCLA. Sven Nader, born in Holland, to play first grade with both teams. In fact, this is not all of them. But he plays behind Bill Walton. Walton going out. A similar situation in the championship game last year. Walton got in trouble. Later had to come in. He came through last year. Can he do it this year? That's the state of that sagging 2-3 zone. And the Nader loses the ball to Keenan. Larry Pitch foul. In a hurry. And he's fouled by Hollyfield. Larry Hollyfield. David, he's only one. If he sinks it, he will have 1,855 points. Larry Farmer's coming in. A technical foul has also been called 
on Hollyfield. Evidently says something to the official. Each team now has had a technical. And they get Hollyfield out of there to get him cool off and send Larry Farmer in for him. This is Larry Finch shooting. Good shooter from that line, 83%. 37 to 32, 15 points for Finch, the all-time scoring leader now in Memphis State history. This is the technical foul, and they'll get the ball out of bounds. 37 to 33. Larry Finch has 16 points. He's the high for Memphis State. Bill Walton has 22 for UCLA. We have three minutes and 50 seconds remaining in the first half. Keenan fouled by Ben Hayter. Dean Barjo, his third year coach at Memphis State. He can run for any office now and win the election. So they have a losing season. <laughs> That's right. Keenan going to the line is not a good free throw shooter, but since, since this one, 59% from the line. But most leapers are for some reason. That's 11 points for him. And free throws are keeping Memphis State in it, Tom. 37 to 35, UCLA. They have hit four free throws in succession. Thirty to go in the first half. UCLA getting a tense struggle here tonight from Memphis State. Myers hits it from outside. 39-35. UCLA. They keep the press on against Finch. Finch's shot is up and good. 39-37 UCLA. 18 points. For Larry Finch. They're still using that two-free zone. And the ball lost by Keenan. He had it and then lost it. That zone inside is hurting UCLA right now. They can't get it inside. Everything is perimeter offense. Fires outside, Mr. Keenan clears the ball. The out pass to Cook. No, Cook holds it up. Memphis State trailing by two points. 2.30 to play in the half. Keenan Jumper up. He hits it. 39, 39. All tied. 2.20 to go. They were nine points down. They tied it up. And UCLA working frantically to try to get some penetration. The 2-3 zone is something new to Memphis State. They don't usually use this defense. They would prefer a man-to-man, but it's effective right now. They can't get it inside. Well, that's Johnny Warden saying, get back, get back. Drop back. Let's take the all-court press off. 49 to play in the first half. A battle for the national championship. 19,000 rolling fans. St. Louis, Missouri Arena. Ben Nader on the pivot. He throws. In and out. Nader couldn't get the rebound. Keenan out to Cook. Bill Cook. <laughs> Deflected away. Sliding, sliding, sliding. And it makes it very difficult to overload the zone in that case. They may try and play for the last shot unless they're crowded. Now they go out after him. There are 50 seconds to go in the first half. The game is tied, 39 all. Memphis State has dominated the last four minutes here. After Bill Walton is taken out with three fouls. There's the clock. And Walton went out. UCLA had a six point lead. 24, 23 seconds if you watch the clock. 
He'll try and get the last good shot of the half. And the secret of this is to set it up and get the good shot, but not too early. Maybe with about five to go. He got up on six. Maybe too early. Seven seconds. Five. They fired Gunsman. And there's a buzzer, and what a first half that was. Memphis State battled the national champ, UCLA, dead even at halftime. And at the end of the first half... Tomorrow night on NBC at 9 o'clock Eastern Time, 8 o'clock Central. Watch it. Halftime, it is Memphis State 39, UCLA 39. And we'll return to St. Louis for more of the NCAA halftime ceremonies in just a moment. Save your money at a savings and loan. Your money does more than just grow. A savings and loan lends out money for homes, and that helps communities grow. We do it a lot for America, and we want to build more. This is a Monroe Super 500 shock absorber. With its larger piston and piston rod, it has twice the working capacity of an ordinary one-inch shock. Monroe calls it a shock and a half. Use it on any car. From the big models to the compacts, it'll give you a better, firmer, safer ride. Monroe guarantees the Super 500 shock, as well as the Monroe-matic, the Super Duty, and front and rear load leveler stabilizing units for the life of your car for as long as you own it. Installation not included. Hi, I'm Johnny Bench. Be sure to watch us Saturday, April 7th, when Kurt Gowdy and Tony Kubek bring the first game of the week between the San Francisco Giants and the Cincinnati Reds. Well done, my boy. <laughs> the actions that uh, uh, Bill Walton makes, we all know who he is and where he is stationed under that basket. Well, that's, uh, you know, he does so many things well with and without the ball. Jim, that time the man laid off him and he sensed it and he immediately uh, went away and took the jumper. Now, this time he hugged him. He just goes around the back door baseline. Uh, I've seen too much of him. We played him out there in January at Pauley <laughs> Pavilion, and Bob saw him last night, and he's a great one. There's no question about what Dave said, Jim, and the thing that I agree um, with him on is, uh, most with Dave, is that he just does whatever the situation arises. As Dave said, he drove one time, he took the shot there, he fakes again and comes right back in and draws the foul and goes up in the middle with it. He's awfully tough in there. Now let me give you a hypothetical question. Uh, Walton foul trouble, Walton can't play. Or Keenan foul trouble, Keenan can't play. Uh, which do you think is more necessary to the team involved? Or, you know, who's going to be hurt most? I honestly think that Walton has got to play for UCLA to win the ball game in the second half, Jim. Dave? I feel the same way, Jim. Everything they do is predicated upon him. Dave Gavin, Bobby Knight, thank you very much. And we'll return to St. Louis in just a moment. The score at halftime, they both have 39 points. Welcome to the Pizza Hut. Uh, hiya there, buddy boy. I was just telling the family there about your Italian cooking during the war when I was over deliberating your mother country. My mother country? How do you people say, uh, pizza? Pizza? Yeah, that's right, with, uh, with the hands. I'll fix a pizza for you and your family. Yeah, you people are big on families. We serve a lot of them. Pizza Hut serves more pizza than anyone else in the world. That's your free world, right? Pizza Hut, a great place to take the family. Pearson, Petty, Allison, Baker, Hoyt, five top stock car drivers demonstrate the new Goodyear Custom Steel Guard Radio with five guards to help protect you five ways against rough ride, penetration under the tread, against wet skids, loss of road contact, and against sluggish handling. Drive the new Goodyear Steel Guard Radio and get the five guard feeling of confidence only from Goodyear. Three, 39 points. The only man in foul trouble is Larry Keenan. He has three fouls. Robinson had two. Free throws kept Memphis State in that game in the first half. They made 11 out of 15 free throws. UCLA had five more field goals in the first half. The UCLA individual scoring. And it's been about all Bill Walton. He had 22 points. In and of course you've got this Bill Walton to contend with. The big question going into this second half will be, can Walton stay out of field goal, uh, free throw trouble, foul trouble? He's been right there. He's got three big ones on him. And will 
Memphis State staying in that 2-3 zone, keeping the ball out of the middle, and forcing UCLA to take the low percentage perimeter jump shots, which is very difficult to win a game like this with. The crowd has been announced officially 19,301, the second largest crowd in the history to watch a NCAA championship game. The largest was in the Astrodome at Houston, Texas, where they have just a bit more room. But we have about 31,000 there. 31,000 out there, you're right. Bill Walton's back in. So is Larry Keenan. They're going to jump center. They just joined us. UCLA's in the dark jerseys. Memphis State in white. They're all tied up as we start the second half. 20 more minutes now. Playing time to decide the national title. Greg Lee. Same starting lineup. That's the space still in that zone. Trying to lob it into Walton to flick it away. All right, space. Behind the back, up, blocked by Hollyfield. Foul call on Hollyfield. All right, space. Puts the state out in front, 40 to 39. 19 points for Larry Fink, wrapping up his career tonight in blazing fashion. 41-39 UCLA. Fink has a raft of free throws tonight. He did 8 out of 10 from the free throw line. Gold is bothering them. And you'll notice they sag. Robinson in front, Keenan behind. Ronnie Robinson has it. UCLA's not hitting those 15, 20 foot shots. Larry Fitch lets fly. Up on the board, Larry Farmer for UCLA. Greg Lee. Hollyfield. Robinson puts it back in. He's out of bounds. Memphis State had a real chance for that rebound. They had three men there and let it get away from them. I think each man was waiting for the other one. Keith Ropes. Walton's tip no good. Bill Lowry battling for that ball and they tie. The UCLA says questionable. Keenan. Deflected it away from him. Now Greg Lee out in front. Well, it's slipping open. 41 all. For Bill Walton, 24 points. The average 19 a game. Played uh, an average of about 30 minutes a game this year. Memphis yeah. State ball out. Bill Lowry doesn't score much. He's a tough little defensive player, but also he can pass the ball inside about as well as anyone on that Memphis State team. Out to Billy Buford. The game is tied, 41 all. Keenan. Greg Lee. Clears the board. UCLA's ball. Well, tipping it in. Fantastic pass by Greg Lee. You will not believe that control, though. He went up way above that rim. Watch well go up, and he taps it in off the boards. 43-41 UCLA. Larry Fitz hurried his shot. But the state wants to win this game. They can't hurry their shot like that. Lee to Walton. Greg Lee. Needle press went into Walton. 45-41 and that's the state ball time. And Bill Walton now has 28 points. A timeout called on Memphis State with a score. UCLA 45, Memphis State 41.
389245. I know what you're thinking, and you're wrong. That includes automatic transmission, power steering, radio, white walls, deluxe wheel covers, tinted glass, even vehicle preparation charge. 389245. Manufacturer's suggested retail price. All you add on are your state and local taxes, your destination charge, and more optional equipment if you need it. But that's it. Now, wouldn't you really rather have a Buick? Yes. My broker thinks it's a real buy. What does your broker say? My broker is E.F. Hutton. And Hutton says that... When E.F. Hutton talks, people listen. Already this half, UCLA has five rebounds to one for Memphis. It gives UCLA 24 in the game and 15 for Memphis. There's Ducky Drake, famous man in athletics. They're going to name the stadium, a new track and field stadium, dedicating it April 28th in his honor. Ducky Drake, 40 years at UCLA. Quite an honor to have a stadium named after you. Larry Keenan spinning off the pivot. The shot is good. 45-43. Larry Keenan, 14 points. Not only are they, are they fronting and backing Lawton, but they're dropping a third man down just to take away that little shovel pass inside. So they have twice as many turnovers. Hollyfield pumps outside. Walton missed a tip. Larry Keenan snagged the rebound as he went high in the air. Larry Finch. Brings his team down, trailing by two. And the Keenan. Keenan does. He hits it. 45 all. 16, 58 to go. 16 points for Larry Keenan. Starts the fast break to lead. Wilk hits the driving shot, 47 to 45, UCLA. Six points for Keith Wilk. 15 minutes to play in this national championship game. Larry Keenan. Right back to him. Backed up. No good. Just off the rim. They're trying to get that ball in to Keenan. That's the coach team, Marco. Let Keenan shoot, hoping to get another foul on Walt. Walt. Walt has three fouls on him. L.A. picked it off. Both teams offensively at this point in the game are doing the same thing. UCLA trying to go to Walton, Memphis State looking for Keenan inside. Both teams in a sagging zone. Keenan coming off the post. Foul call on Ronnie Robinson, number 33. That's the third on him. And the first team foul on Memphis. Had only one foul this half. 47 45 UCLA. Walton the lead. Lee right back to Wilt. 
It is good by Hollyfield. 49-45 UCLA. Larry Fitch banks it in. 49-47. It's set a double pickup for him and finally got him loose. 22 points for Larry Fitch. A two-point lead for UCLA. Air ball. Shot way off the mark. Hollyfield follows. Oh, it's to there. No basket. No basket. And for the third time in this game, Bill Walton has been called for offensive goaltender. There he goes up. Here the ball is. It's a close call. It looks like it did bounce on the end. That's the state in their fourth court. You better bring it back out. Wisely. Get it up. Oh, there's the board. He was looking for the fast break on that outlet pass. Couldn't find anybody to go, though. UCLA leading 49-47. There it is to Walton again. On that pass by Greg Lee, who is really passing superbly from the point for UCLA. 30 points for Bill Walton. 51-47, UCLA. Foul on Keith Wolf. Where is it? Now they foul it on Ronnie Robinson. Ronnie Robinson for backing into Keith Wolf. Now, four-point lead for UCLA. Twelve and a half minutes to play. Lita Walton. And a foul. Ball underneath. Here's the replay on West West ball. He nearly tackled him. That's three team foul. Third foul on West ball. And the third team foul on Memphis. Bill Walton, whose father is the district supervisor of the San Diego County Welfare Department. He had a brother that played college football at UCLA. He's never played in a losing game in high school or college. He's played 128 games in a row without a loss in high school and college. 52-47. They call that a flagrant foul, and two shots have been given. As I said, they almost tackled him. Just another one. 53-47 UCLA, 34 points for Bill Walton. That's his high of the season, I believe. I think 31 is his high. They said they get a good time for UCLA. Bill Cook's in the game. Keenan. Field the ball. And now UCLA decides to call timeout. 12 minutes to play. Our score, UCLA 55 and Memphis State 47. Honda Mini Bikes, the Mini Trail 50. Or the little QA 50. To a youngster, they're fun and freedom, and a world full of new experiences. To you, they can be just as rewarding. Honda Mini Bikes, one of the many worlds of motorcycling, now at your Honda dealers. From mighty to mini, Honda has it all. When a town gets to be a hundred years old, people turn out to celebrate the great moments of the past with a good old-time flavor of Pabst Blue Ribbon Beer. to still brew the old-time natural way for those who feel beer is something special. Past Blue Ribbon Beer.
that is different than field goals. Yeah. All right, here we go. UCLA's ball. Bill Wong has an incredible shooting record tonight. He has hit 16 field goals and 17 tries. How's that for a percentage? 16 out of 17. Walton again. Well, you've got to give this Craig Lee a lot of credit, Tom. His passing is now sparking UCLA. We didn't see this in the first game, the semifinal game against Indiana, but Greg has that ability. He's a great floor general out there for the Bulls. Bill Buford shot, up and good, 57-49. UCLA leading. Just over 11 minutes to play. It was tied at halftime, 39 all. Greg Lee's been needle threading those passes under the wall. The pass and Walton arriving around the rim of the basket at the same time. Perfect timing. That's a real skill. Looks easy, but it's not. That shot is jammed in. Let's see what they gave that to. Gave it to Keith Wilkes, 59-49. Both he and Farmer were there together. Hollyfield's back in the Best shot blocked by Walton and a foul called on Hollyfield. That's the fourth foul on Hollyfield. And you see Finch driving here. It's Hollyfield falling underneath, but Walton blocking that shot on top. Do the shooting. Larry Finch has 24 points. Bill Walton has 36. Three seconds second violation on UCLA. 10 minutes, 15 seconds to go. UCLA ahead by eight. reasons for the UCLA lead at this point is Memphis State's inability to have an inside game going for it. Uh, they're triple teaming him now. Bill Cook hit that foul. 59-53. UCLA. They're double and triple teaming Larry Keenan every time the ball goes inside. Bangs away, 61-53. Keith Wilkes starting to warm up. He has 10 points. Keenan, that's good. Foul by Walton. Four on Bill Walton. And we've got 9.27 remaining in this game with UCLA leading 61-53. Here's a replay, Keenan going up for his jump hooker. There's Walton, and you can see him tapping the wrist of Keenan as he follows through with the shot. Bill Walton has four fouls. No movement on that UCLA bench. Larry Keenan makes it 61-54. Larry Keenan has 17 points. 61-55. Six-point lead for UCLA. Now Walton has to play cautiously, or he's out of this game. You can't challenge every driver. That fouls on West Westfall. And that Memphis State bench is unhappy now. Westfall has four fouls on him from Sumner High School right here in St. Louis. 
Ronnie Robinson has four fouls. Holyfield of UCLA has four fouls, and Walton has four fouls. Ben Strait may be the deciding factor. That's four team fouls of UCLA, and driving under is Larry Farmer. 63-55, UCLA. That's the first basket for Larry Farmer. Larry Fitz gets it across. Nine minutes to play. 